Greetings everyone, so today I want to talk about this new Flick 2 device that I got in the mail. It comes with three buttons, that's the edition that I bought. Now I plan on using this to run a lot of routines that I have set up in my house by just pressing the button one time. Okay, so let's talk about what comes in the box. So first you get that USB cable and also this package that I purchased come with three buttons, but there are different packages depending on how many buttons that you want. And finally, there's a hub that the buttons connect to so they can perform their task. Okay, so the hub connects to the USB port. Now this is what's gonna give it power. Unfortunately, there's no power supply that comes in the package, so you have to provide your own power. Another thing I noticed is there's not too much instruction that came in the box. As a matter of fact, there's no instruction. So you need to go to the app store and download the Flick app. You want to click installed. And then once you get that installed, then you're going to run the setup process. So after agreeing with the terms and condition, you need to either sign in or create account. Since I don't have an account already, I'm going to go ahead and create one and then just go to the next step. Okay, so now that we're signed in, now we're going to add the hub. So we want to click the little plus sign at the bottom and make sure the hub is plugged in. Once the hub is plugged in, it's gonna get recognized. So now it picked up my hub and it's taking a few minutes to calibrate it and it's fine. So we're gonna name this one. That's what I'm gonna name mine. You name it, whatever you wanna name it. Click continue. Once you click continue, it's connecting to the hub and now it's asking me to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so after you connect it to your Wi-Fi, configuration complete, you wanna click finish and now the hub is added. So what you wanna do is add flick to the hub. So one of these flick button, I'm gonna to add to the hub right now. So the first thing you wanna do, like it says, is just press and hold. And there you go, one of them is already connected. So it's already set it up. So I'm gonna name this one bedtime flick because I do have a routine that I run when it's time to go to bed. I'm gonna click done. Now that that is finished, I'm gonna click finish. And then that one is set. I'm gonna add another flick. Hold the button down again like it did before. Once it makes that connection, then you're good to go. Now I'm gonna name this one movie time because I do have a movie time routine that I run to dim the lights down and just set the mood for me to watch some movies. Click done, click finish, and there you go. I have two flicks already set up. Now it's hard to tell which one is which so far because they both look alike. I mean, they're the same color and everything. So the best way to recognize it is to just press it and you will see it bounce inside the app. Once I click this one, you see it bounce inside the app. But I don't have any routine set up for them yet. Once I get them in place, I don't have to worry about mixing them up because they're gonna be in separate rooms. Now I do have one extra button and I don't really have a routine set up for this one yet because those are my two main routines. So I'm gonna hold off on this one and set it up later. Okay, so now that the button is connected to the hub, you still have to tell the button to do something when you click it. So I'm gonna set up the bedtime flick first. So you wanna click on the bedtime flick. Now you can choose from three things to trigger it. You can click once, you can double click, or you can hold, and that's gonna trigger different things. So what I'm gonna choose is click. And then I wanna do an Amazon voice assistant routine. I want to save that action. I can actually set up one if I double click because you can do different things with one button. So you can do the click and it performs one thing and you can do the double click and perform something else. And then you can press the whole button and then it will perform another task. So you can set them up for different things. And as you can see, there's a whole list of stuff that you can choose from within the actions. Okay, so now that you get your routine set up, you still have to connect the flick to the Amazon Voice Assistant app. So we're gonna switch over to the Amazon Voice Assistant app. We wanna to go to more, we're gonna to go to skills, and then we wanna search for Flick. Once you found that skill, you wanna click on it, and then you wanna to enable to use. It's gonna ask you to enter your credentials so you can connect the Voice Assistant app to the Flick app. And then once you enter your credential, it's gonna say it's successfully linked. You wanna click close. And now you wanna discover devices. So now your Amazon Voice Assistant is looking for Flick Hub and the Flick buttons. You can see it found one device called the Flick Bedroom Time because that's the one I have set up right now. Once I do the movie time, then that's gonna automatically show up in the app also. I might have to do another scan for it to find that button, but I just wanna show you that it actually found the button. 
and then I can set up a routine to trigger whatever it is. So let's go to one of my routine that I already have set up. Let's go to bedtime routine. There it is. So now we're going to change the trigger because right now my bedtime routine says that when I say bedtime, that's what triggers the routine. And I can actually create a brand new routine to do the same thing, but I'm just going to change the trigger for now so you can see that it works. So I'm going to change the trigger and then I'm going to go to smart home. I want to look for the bedroom flick button and this says when I press it, yes. So now this routine is set up differently than the previous way I've had it working. The previous way I had it working where I say bedtime by saying her name first, but now I can click the flip button and still perform the same routine. And that routine performs just like this. It's going to turn off the studio TV, the computer displays, it's going to turn on the bedroom TV, it's going to set the bedroom lights at 50% with a warm color, and then it's going to wait 15 seconds before it turns off the lights in the studio. So I can leave out the studio at night without fumbling around anything because the lights will be the last thing to cut off. So that's how you change the trigger. You can change it from the voice to the button, but you can also have two routines. You might want to use your voice without pressing the button, depend on where you are. So say we want to have one where we actually say the command and click in the button separately. So what you want to do is click the three buttons and then you want to say copy action to a new routine. Then you want to name it. Now you might have to do a different name. You can say bedroom or bedtime voice. So this is the one you would actually use your voice to trigger the command. So now that you have your name, which is bedtime voice, that's just the name of the command. Now you want to say when this happened and then you want to choose voice. Now you want to say her name and whatever command you want to say for her to trigger this routine. So we're going to use the same bedtime that we had before. And then we want to click next and then we want to save. So now that routine is saved with two different ways of triggering it. I can use the button that I just got, this flick button, and I can also say it. So with this button, you can trigger the same routine if you want to without actually saying it if you don't want to disturb the people in your house. Now remember that you still have two different triggers that you can use this button for, which is the double click and the hold. So you can set up different routines based on what you're trying to do. So if you do one click, it's going to perform one routine. You can do a double click and perform a whole different routine. And then you can actually set up another one where you hold the button down and it triggers a whole different routine. So with one press of the bedroom flick button, it's going to turn off the TV and the monitor in the studio. And at the same time, it's going to turn on the lights in the bedroom. And then 15 seconds later, it's going to turn off the lights in the studio. Okay, so now let's move on to the movie time routine because in the movie time routine, I have it where it sets the mood. It dims the light down to a certain level and change them to a different color. And then when the movie's over, I have another routine where it brings the lights back up, make them like a warm white color so I can see. So that changed the scene to normal when the movie's over. So I'm gonna program both of those routine in this one button. One is going to be on the click and one is going to be on the double click. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you identify the right button. As you can see, I press it and it jiggled. So now I want to go into the movie flick button and then I want to choose click. And then I want to trigger an Amazon routine. So I'm going to click that just to connect it to the Amazon app. Yes, it's connected. And then I also want to go into the double click and connect that to the Amazon voice assistant app. I want to click save. So now the click and double click is connected to the Amazon voice assistant. So now I want to go back over to the voice assistant app. I didn't have to run a scan. As you can see, it picked up the movie time flick button and it has the click and the double click. So that's the cool thing about it. You already know which one is which based on how it's labeled in the app. So now let's go back into routine. And like I said, I have a movie time and one that I call credits. So let's go to the first one we find. There it is, credits. So we're going to go to credits. And as you can see, I say the word credits and she adjusts the lamp and the lights that's behind the TV to set the mood. So in the credits routine, she brings the light up to a warm white 
at 90% all the lights. So let's add a routine. We're not going to change it this time like I did before. We're just going to copy the actions. And then we're going to name this one credits flick. There we go. We got next. And now we're going to say when this happened. Then we go into smart home. And then we're going to find the movie click button. There it is. Movie click. Now the credits is going to be the double click. So let's choose that one. Then we're going to click save. And then save again. And now I've just added that routine to my setup. So now that routine is added to the movie time flick button. So all I have to do is double click and it's going to run the credits routine that's already built into my Amazon voice assistant. So now we want to do the other one, which is the click. So let's go down to movie time. Just got to find it on my list. There it is. It's actually called movie theater. So let's choose that one. And then we're going to say copy again. We want to copy all the actions. We're going to name this one movie time flick. Okay, so now that we named it movie time flick, we're going to say when this happened. And then we're going to choose smart home. This time we're going to look for the one that says click, not double click. We want to click save and then we're going to save again. So now when I click this button one time, it's going to run my movie time routine that I already have set up inside the Amazon voice assistant app. So that's how easy it is. Now I still have one more that I can add to this button, which is the hold. So if I think about something later, I can add it to this button. Now I might want to add another routine where it shuts down everything in the living room when it's time to go to bed, just like I have one set up for my studio when it's time to go to bed. So that's the cool thing about these buttons. They just don't perform one routine because you can click, double click and hold you can set up three different routines built into one button. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention before I go. On the back of these buttons, you can peel off this label and it will stick to anything. All right, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.